on the 3M22 to program it the first thing we need to do is take the mode selection switch on the right hand side and set for either heat or cool depending on which we'd like to program. Today we're going to set it up for heat. It'll display heat in the display here. So to set it we now press the second key in which is the MTW key. We hold it and it'll show that we're on Sunday, that we're in the first time frame, which is the morning. There's four time frames here in these buttons, and it's set for 8 a.m. We want to change that to 10 a.m., so I press the second key in, which is the time up key. And if I hold it, it goes in 15 minute increments. So there is 10 a.m. The temperature says 62 degrees. But I'd like it to be 71, so by using the plus and minus temperature buttons, I can simply bring that temperature up. So I'm now at 10 a.m., 71 degrees in the morning. So I want to set my next time frame, which will be day, so I simply press the day button, which is the second one in. And if we look at it, it's set for 10 a.m. also, which we can't have, and 71. So what I'll do is I'll take that to 10.15 because basically I want to keep the same temperature during the day. So there I am, 10.15, 71 degrees for the day. Now the third time frame, which is evening, we're going to set for 11 p.m. So I press the evening. It shows 6 p.m. Again, by using the time up or down, I take and I change the time and I'm going to change it to 11 p.m. There, the time is now 11 p.m. and we're going to set for 68 degrees, so we're going to use the temperature down button. And it's now set, the display now shows 68 degrees. Now we're going to set the last time frame, which is night. So I press the night and it shows 10 o'clock, 62 degrees. We want to set that for 11.30 at 68. So again, I press the time, and the clock will change. And we're going to press the temperature up button and take it up to 68 degrees. So I've set all four time periods, morning, day, evening, and night. And we can review them simply by pressing that. The morning was 10 a.m. at 71. The day, because this is Sunday, we're going to be home, set for 10.15 at 71. Even though we have four time periods, we only wanted two temperature changes, but we had to fill all four time periods. The next one is evening, 11 o'clock, 68. And the last one is night, which is 11.30 at 68. One thing to remember is your first time period, your morning, has to be after midnight and your last time period, night, has to be before midnight. You can't straddle the midnight. Now, if we want to take and we want to set the rest of the week, we basically go next day, which is the third one in from the display, and the display changes to Monday. And we're going to go back up and we're going to press morning. And because we work Monday through Saturday, we're going to set that for 5.30. So now we press the time down because it says 6 o'clock. And again, if you overshoot it, that's okay. You just use the other key. So we've set the time for 5.30. We want the temperature to be 69 degrees. So we use the temperature down button. And it's 69 degrees. Then we want to go on to the next time period, which is day. So we take the top row and we press the day. And we want it to be 7 rather than 8. So we're going to take the time down. And then we want that set for 65 degrees. So we use the temperature up and take it for 65. The next time period is going to be 5 o'clock, which we want for our evening. So we press the evening button. It's at 6, so we want to take it down. So we're at 5 o'clock. It's going to be 70 degrees. It's already set for 70, so we're just going to leave it. And our last time period is night, so we're going to press that. 
we're going to set that for 1030 and we're going to set that for 64 degrees so we're going to take it up two degrees now rather than do this for Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday all we have to do is copy this so we simply go out to the last button here which is HVAC type slash copy for every time you press it will go to a new day you press it twice Thursday Friday Saturday now we've already done Saturday, Sunday separate so we didn't want to copy to Sunday so we just go press home and we're all done okay one more little trick is let's say we set Sunday and we wanted to copy that all seven days all we do is we press and we hold the copy button and every day of the week will start flashing that shows that rather than pressing it for every copy to every single day of the week it will automatically copy across the whole week so you can either copy to certain days so like Monday through Friday and then a separate copy for Saturday and Sunday or if you just press and hold it, it will copy across the whole week.